If you've ever wanted to make educational worksheets or a workbook for kids, you've come to the right place today. I'm going to show you how to do it really quickly and easily using Creative Fabrica Studio. Hi, my name is Cassie and this is Passively Ever After. So I'm here in Creative Fabrica and I'm just going to go to right up here in the right hand corner where it says create and that's actually the studio. So you click that button and it'll just open up the studio for you. So you can see here they have some templates for different things. Now I'm going to go down here because they have a worksheets template. You'll see a few different worksheets here that you could actually um, use these templates. So I'm going to use this one right here that says adding friends and I'll show you how to use this template and change it so that it's your own design. So I'm going to add as a new design. Okay, so I don't want to copy this and just use it the way that it is. We need to change it up and make it our own. So I'm going to get rid of this image right here so I can put something different there. So I'm just going to click the little trash can. So when you click on an image, it'll bring up a little toolbar that will have different options of things that you can do. So for this, um, I'm going to just replace these circle images with something else. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete all of these. So I'm just going to select them all at once. That'll make it easier to delete them. And then I can just click the trash can. Then I'm going to go over here to graphics. Now you can either use graphics or elements or patterns. If you go to graphics, you can see there are ones here. You can search for something specific. Let's search for flowers and see if we find something we like. I like this one. This is cute. So I'm going to do that and then just size it down. And they had four here. Um, I can make them smaller and put more than that or just do the same amount. Whatever you'd like to do, you can do. So what I want to do is now duplicate this flower. So I'm just going to duplicate it. And then it'll just show me how to line it up so that it's nice and perfect. And now that I have two, I'm going to select both of them and I'm going to duplicate that. So there's that one. And then we can just go through and change all of these. So I'm going to delete those. Uh, let's do a sun for this one. That one's cute. I guess I'm going to make this like a spring or summer themed worksheet. And then I'm just going to duplicate this again. And then I'll duplicate it again. And then if you need to move them around, just select all of them. And then that way you can move them all so that they're together and still lined up. And so it shows me where it's lined up with the line right there. So that's what I want. I like this one right here. It's cute. So I'm going to use that one. I need to take these two out though. Duplicate again. I'm trying to keep these images as simple as possible because I don't want kids to be confused by like other elements in the picture. So I'm trying to keep them without too many extra things within the image. Okay, so I'm going to change this box up here um, just because I want to change it and make it my own. So um, I think I'll do, so you just click right here where there's a col the colored box. And then you can either type in a hex code if you know a color that you want to use, or you can just kind of slide this along. And then 
You can choose a different spot up here if you want to make it brighter or lighter or darker. So I'm gonna go with that color that looks summery to me. And then for this one, I'm gonna change the wording here. So I'm gonna say summer counting. And then I'm gonna change the font as well. Basically, I wanna change this whole thing so that it's my own worksheet. I want something um, pretty simple because these are young kids. Um, so you want them to be able to recognize the letters. I'm gonna go with this coiny one. And then I'm just gonna stretch it out um, so that it can all be on one line. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. I just wanna make sure everything fits inside so it doesn't get cut off during printing. And then I'm just gonna change this wording a little bit too, just because I want to um, change everything up. So and then that's all there is to that one. So so that's using the template. Now I want to start from a blank one. So I'm going to go to the home page and then add new design. So I'm going to go to the tab that says print right here and I'm going to find the one that's an eight and a half by 11, which is a normal size piece of paper, notebook paper size. So this notebook one right here, I'm going to click that and then create new design. So if you go to elements, you can see here there are lines that you can use, um, different shapes, different little um, graphics and things like that that you can use. So for this one, I'm gonna make it kind of like a matching. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna make my own graphics for this one. So you can see here, I made these little frog um, graphics. This is using Spark AI, which is the AI for Creative Fabrica. So I think I'll make this one animal themed. So I'm gonna do a cute dog smiling and see what we get here. It'll take a few minutes to generate the images. So just be patient. I like this one, he's cute. So I have my frog and then I have a dog. So maybe we'll do a cute cat smiling and then a bird. And that should be enough um, for this example. Obviously you can make this worksheet have as many elements on it or whatever, but I just want to show you quickly so that you can get started on your own. Okay, so I'm gonna use this bird right here. And then this cat, this dog, and this frog. And again, I'm keeping these as simple as I can because this worksheet that I'm making here is going to be for young kids, you know, so you don't want them getting confused. So I want to add a text box with the name at the top. So I'm going to use subheading for this. Again, just because it's for little kids, I want to make the font a little bit bigger than normal, and we can always resize it if it's too big. So I'm going to put name and then a couple of spaces, and then I'm just gonna do the dashed lines. And then I'll just use the arrow on the box to stretch it out some. And then I'm just gonna put this at the top. And you can change the font here, so if you wanted to do a different font, you could do that. For little kids, I don't like to use the ones that have the A that looks like this because that's not usually how they learn to write an A. So I usually look for a font that has 
the other type of A, like this kind of an A. I'm going to put another text box. So this one, I'll just use the body. And this is just for the instructions. And I'm going to use that same font that I used on the above part. And if you want, you can put like a title for the page, like um, picture matching or something like that, if you want to title it. So that's how we know it's centered. There's that dashed line that shows us the center. And then what I'm going to do is put the name of each animal over here, and the kids will draw a line. So maybe I should say draw draw a line. So we'll just use our text box again. And I'm going to do heading for this one. And so I'm just going to type in bird. And I don't want to line it up with the bird because that's the point. They're supposed to figure it out on their own. So we're going to put it somewhere else. Then I'm just going to duplicate this. And so for the text, it's over here on the left side where you can make all the changes to the text. But this isn't the text I want to use. I want to use that same text I've been using. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that. And then now I'll go ahead and duplicate. And then put the next animal name. And then I think I want to line these all to the left so that I can line them all up. So you just do that over here on the left hand side. You can see these boxes for the alignment. And then I'm just going to scoot it over so that it's further away. and then just line these up and the lines will help you line them up. And then that's just a simple worksheet that you can make. And then I'm gonna make uh, one more and show you how to do one more thing on here. So for this instance, I'm gonna um, go to Creative Fabrica and grab my uh, some clip art. So I want to make this one a coloring type of page. So I'm going to use some outlines. So I'm going to say back to school outlines. And then I like this one right here. This is perfect for what I want. So I'm just going to select that. And then I'm going to download this. And right here, it tells you what you can use this for, commercial and full POD usage allowed. And then I'm just going to open up that file. I need to unzip it. So I'm going to extract all. And then you can see here, this is a file I can open. So I'm going to go back over here to my studio and to uploads. And I'm going to upload some files. So I'm just going to click that folder. And then I'm just going to click the box here so I can select all of them and upload all of those images here. So I'm going to use the apple and crayon or marker, I guess it is, and a book. Actually, I'm not going to use the marker. I'm going to use the clock. OK, so we're just going to make this really simple. So I'm going to size all these down a little bit. And then we'll do the same style of worksheet that we did before. But they're going to be matching the letter to the object. So, so I'm going to do a text box and subheading again, and then the name. I'm going to make these just a little bit smaller so I can fit my instructions on here. 
And I want to make sure to leave a little around the edge so that nothing gets cut off. So now I'll do some instructions. Okay, and then I just want to use a heading and I'm going to make A, B, and C to go along the edge. So I want to make these really nice and big um, and I'll use the same font I've been using on the rest of the sheet. So I'll put the A here and then just duplicate this and put the B up here. And then duplicate that and make this C. And I think I'm going to make these letters a little bit smaller. They seem a little large. So I'm just going to select all of them so that I can make them all the same size. That seems good. And then just move them back. And that's how you can make a simple coloring worksheet using Creative Fabrica Studio. Thank you to Creative Fabrica for sponsoring this video today. Be sure to go to the description and check them out. I'll have links to Creative Fabrica itself and then also to the studio so you can go straight to the studio if you like. If you want to learn how to make some other type of printables for kids or books that you can sell on KDP, check out this video right here where I show you how to make coloring books.